Today we're making Schweinhacks, which is um, pig knuckle. I've had this in Germany a few times in Dusseldorf, and I just wanted to try and see how it would go on the uh, Carson Radicio. So there's a, a little rub that's going to go on the outside. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to put two tablespoons of salt in there, sea salt. We then need to put in around about 10 peppercorns. Um, so let's we'll see how many we've got there. It's a bit too many, but there's probably about 10 peppercorns in there. We're going to add in four cloves, whole cloves. One, two, three, four whole cloves. And then some juniper berries. So three, four juniper berries. And then we're going to um, give that a bit of a smash it up and flavour the salt. And then this will be used to go onto the skin of the pork hock, pig knuckle and should flavour it up pretty nicely. So that's it all ground up. It's a shame we haven't got smell of vision because you can really smell the cloves in there. So it smells really, really good. So I'm going to get on to um, doing the pork hock next and um, putting that through um, some boiling water on the skin to dry the skin off. So these are the pig knuckles, pork hocks. Um, these two are off the shoulder, they're both Berkshire. These two are off the shoulder and these are off the um, back legs. Um, I think I actually prefer the ones off the shoulder, they look a lot bigger and a lot more meatier. You can see there's a lot more meat on them. So first thing I'm going to do is try and score the skin a little bit and put some uh, crosses in the skin. So we'll just go across both directions and then once I've put the done the scoring I'll then um, have a go at putting the, putting the salt on as well. So I'll show you these when these are finished. What I'm going to do first is just going to um, pour some boiling water over the skins for each of these hocks. Um, try and spin them over and we'll use that as it evaporates, it should dry the hocks off. So there we go, there's the knuckles, I've sort of scored them up a bit um, hopefully they're going to be okay. What I'll do now is start to add some of the uh, salt with the cloves and the juniper berries and sort of rub that into each of the sides. So we'll see how they go. So the small pox go on pretty well. These are the um, these are the ones from the back legs, and they seem as though they'll turn and hold pretty well. And I've just got to try and figure out what to do with the big shoulder ones. I don't think they're going to turn as well, so they might be a bit more interesting. I might need a bit more work. So we'll see how I can get those onto the skewer. So I've managed to get them on. Uh, they're going to spin a bit, so I'm going to have to try and find a way of uh, tying them up. Um, I think I can probably do that, but I'm going to have a look at some butcher string and see if I can tie them into position. The smaller ones look okay, but these shoulder ones definitely take a little bit more doing. Well, there you go. Not really got a clue what I'm doing, but I've sort of tied it up and it seems to be going around. Don't know whether the string will burn, but um, we'll certainly give it a go and see how they both go. So it should be interesting. So the, um, the Schweinhacks are on now. I'm not too happy with you know the way they're actually on those skewers so I'm not too sure how well this is going to work and um, so it's going to be a bit hit and miss. We've also got some pecana on there as well um, to eat for later on. So they look okay at the moment but I don't know how well they're going to cook throughout the cook. You can see there's a slight bit of spinning on them and um, I'm going to have to think of something a bit smarter maybe using um, steel wire next time or something like that to actually fasten them onto there. But we'll see how they actually go and um, report back soon.
This has been on for um, two or three hours now and the spine hacks are looking absolutely amazing. So I'm just going to start moving them around again, but so far this is looking beautiful. So there you go, that's the um, pig knuckle. Um, caught a little bit in some places, but looks fantastic. There's the um, pecana as well, the pecana looks good. Um, so this should be end up being pretty tasty, hopefully. I'm fingers crossed that it's worked out okay, but we'll see what it's like. Okay, so let's have a look at the pecana. So yeah, the pecana looks pretty good. Not too bad at all. Pretty happy with that. 